Starter Level Mulan Retold by Janet Hardy Gould Chapter 1 Our story begins with a young girl in ancient China. Her name is Hua Mulan. She lives with her parents, her older sister, and her younger brother in a little village. One morning, Mulan is working in her room. She is making cloth to sell at the market. Suddenly, she hears a noise. She goes to the window and looks out. A lot of people are running down the street. Mulan sees her friend, Sun Ying. What's the matter? asks Mulan. Quick, come and see, says Sun Ying. Mulan follows Sun Ying through the village. Wait for me, shouts Mulan. They soon see a big crowd of people in front of them. Everybody is looking at a long list on a tree. Move! I can't see, says an old woman at the back. Stop that! shouts a man at the front angrily. What's on the list? Mulan asks Sun Ying. The enemy are now here in our country, says Sun Ying. And we must fight them. The emperor needs a very big army. One man from every family must join the army tomorrow says Sun Ying. The names of all the men in the village are on the list. Mulan goes to the front of the crowd. She quickly reads the list. Oh, no, cries Mulan. Look, my father's name is the first on the list. My father can't fight says Mulan. He's old and ill, and my brother, Shang, is a young child. He can't join the army. What can I do? cries Mulan. You must think of a plan, says Sun Ying. Chapter 2 Mulan runs home to her family. Mother! Father! She cries. I have some bad news. The emperor wants a man from every house to fight in the army. Then I must go, says her father. You can't go. You're ill, says her mother. But when a man doesn't join the army, the emperor always punishes his family says her father. It's all right, says Mulan. I'm young and strong. I can go in father's place. But how? asks her mother. You're a girl and everybody knows it. 
I can be a man. I can learn to walk with my head up and to shout when I talk, she says. And I can wear soldiers' clothes. Mulan, says her father, you're a brave daughter. You can join the army and save our family name. Can I join the army with you? asks Shang. Mulan laughs. <laughs> You're a boy, Shang. Perhaps you can be a soldier when you're a man. Please be careful, says her mother. Her father gives some money to her. You must be ready to join the army, he says. Mulan needs to buy a horse. She runs to the market. An old man calls to Mulan. Look at this horse! He shouts. It's the best one in the village! Can I ride it? asks Mulan. Of course! He says. So Mulan gets on the horse and rides it. It's wonderful, she says. How much is it? Later, Mulan walks through the market with her new horse. She buys a beautiful saddle for it. When Mulan rides home from the market, she meets Sun Ying. Mulan! shouts Sun Ying. You have a new horse. Where are you going? It's a secret, whispers Mulan. My plan is to join the army in my father's place. You're very brave and clever, Mulan. But please be careful, says Sun Ying. And good luck! The next day, Mulan is ready to leave. Don't forget us, whispers Shang. He is crying. Please, come home soon, says her mother. Mulan says goodbye to her family. She rides away quickly. Chapter 3 Mulan rides for two days over the black hills and across rivers she rides through the cold, dark night and through the snow. Then, suddenly, she sees hundreds of little lights in front of her. She finds thousands of soldiers with their tents near the Yellow River. The light comes from their fires. She stops her horse and gets off. Hello there, shouts one young man. Come and join us. I'm Yi Ming, he says. Would you like something hot to drink? Yes, please. My name's Hua Mu. Sorry, Hua Hu, says Mulan quickly. 
Come and sit by the fire, shouts Yi Ming. This is Hua Hu, he says to the soldiers near them. Welcome, brother, say the soldiers. That night, Mulan sleeps in one of the tents. Everything is all right, she thinks. I'm a woman, but nobody knows my secret. In the morning, Yi Ming gets up early. Hua Hu, he whispers. Are you awake? We must get ready. The enemy is not far from us. All of the soldiers get ready for the battle. Then the general of the Chinese army talks to his men. Are you ready to fight? He shouts. Yes! They cry. Later that morning, the two armies meet. The battle is long, but Mulan fights bravely. Hours later, many of the Chinese soldiers are dead. Mulan looks at them. Oh no! What can I do? She thinks. Suddenly, she starts to ride towards the enemy. Brave soldiers, follow me! She cries. The soldiers ride quickly after Mulan. She fights at the front with Yi Ming next to her. An enemy soldier wants to kill Yi Ming. Watch out! cries Mulan. Yi Ming rides away fast. Thank you! he shouts to Mulan. After many hours, the Chinese army wins the battle. The soldiers all come to Mulan. You're our hero! They cry. We can win every battle now. Chapter 4 Mulan fights in many more battles. Yi Ming always fights next to her. Hua Hu, you're very brave and clever, say the soldiers. You must lead us into every battle. After some years, Mulan becomes a general in the army. She chases the enemy out of China. People all over the country hear of this famous soldier. But nobody knows her secret. Nobody knows her true name, Mulan. One day, a soldier visits Mulan. I have a message from the Emperor, he says. What is it? asks Mulan. You must come to the Emperor's palace, says the soldier. Mulan rides across the country with Yi Ming.
Soon, they arrive at the Emperor's palace. Huahu, your name is famous. You are the bravest soldier in China, says the Emperor. Our country is safe now. I must thank you for that. Mulan bows in front of the Emperor. A soldier must live and fight for his country, she says. What can I do for you? The Emperor asks. Do you want to become a minister? Or would you like a big house? No, thank you, says Mulan. But there is one thing. What's that? Asks the emperor. I want to go back to my family, says Mulan. My father is an old man now, and he needs my help. Then leave the army and go home to your family, says the emperor. And please take my finest horse with you. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful, says Mulan. Chapter 5 The next day, Mulan is ready to leave the Emperor's palace. Yi Ming comes to say goodbye. Hua Hu, thank you for saving my life, he says. Please, don't forget me. How can I forget you, says Mulan. You're my only true friend. Then Mulan begins the long journey home. When she rides through villages, people come out of their houses and they cheer. Look! That's the famous general, Hua Hu, they say excitedly. He's a true hero. Soon, her parents hear the news from a traveler. Mulan is coming home. They make a big feast. Mulan's brother, Shang, is a young man now, and he puts firecrackers ready at the gate. When is Mulan coming home? He asks every day. The next morning, Mulan arrives in the village. Shang runs out to see her. Mulan rides up to her house. Welcome home, shouts Shang over the noise of the firecrackers. Look at our daughter, cries her mother. She is now an important general, says her father. And she's riding the finest horse in the country. Chapter 6 I'm a general now, says Mulan, and she smiles. But in an hour, you can see your true daughter again. Mulan goes to her old room. First, 
she takes off her soldier's clothes. Next, she puts on a fine dress and brushes her long, dark hair. When Mulan comes out of her room, she is beautiful. You're our daughter again, cry her parents happily. Let's start the feast, says her father. You must sit next to your father, says her mother. For hours and hours they talk and eat. Mulan tells them all about her adventures in the army. You're very brave, says her friend Sun Ying. Mulan is happy to be at home again. Every day she helps her father. One day she is making cloth in her room. Suddenly she hears a horse in the street. Hello there, shouts a young man. Is there somebody at home? Mulan comes to the gate. The young man is Yi Ming. I'm looking for a young soldier. Hua Hu is his name, he says. And then he stops. But it's you! Cries Yi Ming, "You're Hua Hu, and you're a woman." Yes, that's right," says Mulan, and she laughs. <laughs> Come in, I can explain everything. Mulan and Yi Ming talk for a long time. They remember all their adventures, all their battles. It's good to talk to my best friend again," says Yi Ming, and he smiles at Mulan. Yi Ming meets Mulan's family. I'm very happy to meet you all," he says. "You have a very brave daughter." Thank you," says Mulan's father. Yi Ming stays at the house for a week. Everybody in the family likes him. One day, Yi Ming asks Mulan to marry him. "I don't know," answers Mulan. "Can I marry my best friend from the army?" We need to speak to my father. Yi Ming goes to Mulan's father. Of course, you can marry my daughter. He says, and he smiles. Ask Mulan. Come. Mulan talks with her father for many hours that night. The next day. Yi Ming asks Mulan to marry him again. This time, she says yes. I'm truly happy, she says to Yi Ming. Now you can be my best friend and my husband. Mulan marries Yi Ming. Everybody in the village comes to the wedding. Mulan and Yi Ming live happily in the village for many years, and to this day, people talk about Hua Mulan, the bravest girl in China.